So if you've been to the On Course One workshop, you know what it's like by the time you get to that final day. To use Rebecca Cox's example, you are ready to fix everything that is wrong with education, <laughs> right? And then you go home, and reality sets in, and all of that energy and enthusiasm, it can dissipate. Our program, FIP, which is the Faculty Inquiry Partnership Program, is designed to prevent that. What we do is we bring the On Course One workshop to our campus. During the workshop, what we do is we pair faculty with a colleague from a different discipline. Because as you know, On Course is not about what we teach, it's about how we teach. Those pairs then commit to implementing five strategies into their teaching. They're able to support each other, they're able to plan together, they're able to problem solve when that activity didn't go quite the way you planned. We also have other supports that we provide for our FIP faculty. So we have monthly workshops, we have a coordinator who serves as a resource and a mentor. We have pretty much a FIP, what we call a FIP curriculum. So FIP is the Faculty Inquiry Partnership Program. And so what we're doing is we're helping people work as pairs, but the inquiry comes in in terms of the curriculum. They, are, they have milestones which are helping provide some structure and support as they integrate and infuse these strategies, not as a one-off, but as permanent fixtures and features in their teaching. We have assessment that they're doing, trying to understand how are these strategies impacting our students and impacting how they view teaching. So Roseanne's going to talk about some of the things that we've learned from the assessment of the program. Um, we were really fortunate we ha were able to implement FIP for three years consecutively and trained over, what, 125. 125 faculty through this, and they all committed to the year-long program, so it was extremely successful. Um, we also were able to collect a lot of data, which was fantastic, and I'm just going to share a couple numbers with you. 99% of the faculty who participated reported it positively impacted their teaching, and even more impressive is that a year later, after they had been out of the program for a year, we surveyed them again to see, are they, did, this, did they sustain this? And 97% um, said that they were still using some of their strategies, which is huge. Um, there was a, st a statistically significant increase in active learning, the faculty reported in their classrooms. And even more important was that they felt that they were able to deal with difficult students um, better. You know. um, and then we asked the students, how do they feel about it? 91% um, of them said that it helped them to understand the material better and that it increased their interest in their classes. And 92% of the students said that it'll contribu it contributed to their success as a student. We surveyed over 5,000 students or 5,000 surveys, so classes. So it was a lot of data. So pretty stunning, actually. So we encourage you to learn more. There's so much more we could share with you about the program. You can learn more by going to the El Camino website, www.elcamino.edu. Just type in FIP. FIPP, you'll be taken to our page where you'll find literally hundreds, I think it's about 300 activity reports on that site. Here's what an activity report is. It's where after a faculty member has implemented a strategy, they then go back and figure out what worked, what didn't. They provide a specific recipe for how they used or adapted the idea from on course, and then recommendations for what they would do differently next time. By using that website as a clearinghouse, what we're hoping people can do is go find an idea idea in exactly their discipline and start using it next week. The other things that you'll find on that website are um, video testimonials from our FIP faculty. We have several FIP graduates who are here today and we just want to acknowledge, yeah, acknowledge and applaud them. Will you just raise your hand if you're here from FIP? Good. They really are the ones who deserve the applause yeah. because the reality is, yes, we have sweated blood and tears over this program. It, it has taken a lot of energy, but the success of the program is really a credit to those faculty for one simple fact. That's because they had the courage, and yes, it does take courage, they had the courage to try something new. So thanks to all of our FIT faculty and thanks to you.